for this video, we're actually gonna be doing um, the body in blocks. And that's kind of looking at the different shapes that we see, you know, circle kind of ov ovular for the, sh for the neck um, and breaking up the body into sections. So the neck is gonna be sort of a rectangular sh trapezoidal shape. Um, the, the body is sort of a, a, a kind of uneven, again, trapezoid, but also um, a little bit more like a rectangle in the shape of this guy. Because he's also got arms, we're gonna be separating the arms into some sections as well. Um, and this is a really great way to sort of just break up the proportions of the body a little bit better and understand where those shapes are. Um, we are we are a little bit more fleshy, of course, as humans, so it's not gonna be straight geometrical shapes, but you'll see some of the um, general shapes that we use to start off with the body. So I'm not tracing this time because I want you guys to be able to see that I'm just putting down really fast the shapes that I'm seeing. Um, so we're starting off with, you know, the head. I'm gonna try and do this in pen for you guys so you can kind of see my shapes. Um, when you get to the neck, again, kind of going into a shape, and I draw really sketchy, which is why I kind of go over my lines multiple times. Um, we're looking at that trapezoidal shape for the body. And I don't know if you guys, any of you remember last time I did talk about, um, sometimes I'll actually still draw my little plumb line from the neck down so I know where I'm headed. Um, and I also draw a little rib cage in here, you know, so this is just me putting in my body anatomy based on what I've known from a long time ago. Um, when I see his arms, it looks kind of like he's got a little bit of the arm kind of hidden. It's a little dark on this actual drawing, so it's hard to see exactly where his arm is, but it looks like his, um, his arm, if we were to draw just a little shape, is kind of falling a little bit behind here. And notice I'm kind of just using sort of almost like hot dog shapes here um, to, to show you the different parts of the body. Um, and if you look at those ball jointed dolls that a lot of people use for sketching anatomy, this is kind of what we're creating. Again, his hands are in his pockets, so I'm just drawing a little shape here. Um, his pant actually kind of extends past where his hand is. And you can see I'm drawing in here, um, I'm gonna draw on this actual thing. This is where kind of the underwear line is, right? He comes out a little bit. And if we were to draw, draw our plumb line all the way down, this is kind of where we're hitting. So that's kind of what I'm reflecting here. We've got the underwear line. He's got his other arm here. And the top half of his arm, again, I'm using the ball to show, show or indicate kind of where those joints are. So in this case, this is sort of indicating my elbow and my elbow should, should generally pretty much line up here. It's gonna be a little bit of an angle. So you can kind of see, I'm starting to draw lines where I'm seeing the geometrical shapes on my actual um, image. Then the bottom half of the arm goes into his pocket again. Um, when we get to the legs, again, we've kind of got more of a trapezoidal shape. So it looks like his body is kind of heading towards itself. You know, his legs are kind of tapered in as opposed to splaying out. And then we see his knees. Looks like his one knee is actually shot off to a little bit more of the left side here. And then his other knee, his other kneecap you can see is pretty bent and it's actually out here. So we're starting to see like, you know, he's really turned his knee out here. And then when it crosses, Again, looking at where the calf is wider, so that's why we have this trapezoid, and then where it's narrower at the bottom of the ankle. So it looks like I made my guy a little bit taller than this actual person was. 
but that's okay. Again, we're trying to go fast here. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see my lines um, in the actual drawing. I'll try and zoom this in. But I'm trying to actually trace out the ball of the foot here, even though he's in a shoe, and kind of the, the foot length here. So these are just kind of helping me give some shapes to what I'm trying to see on the actual image. I'm going to do the same thing with the other shoe when we get there. So again, I've got my shoe. And then the other foot is right behind. And the ball of the foot here is actually kind of on the back end. So it doesn't necessarily, you're not seeing it because of this forced perspective. So then the foot kind of creates this sort of oblong shape. So I'm gonna do the same thing. My foot is over here. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about drawing an actual jacket yet. We're just looking at the body here. Um, so hopefully you guys can all see that. I'm drawing this a little taller than the actual um, body is. Now, again, I want this to go quick. Eventually, we're gonna just, we're gonna be doing a couple iterations of this. So I've got my body. And I realize that, you know, he's probably not as long as I made him. So let's make him a little bit shorter. And you can see I'm already correcting some of the mistakes that I made when I made him too tall. Let's draw our plumb line down again. And we probably don't need to be as tall. Again, his knee goes over here. So this time I'm keeping this fast. And again, you're really trying to pay attention as much as possible to where those joints are. And in this case, I've overlapped my feet a little bit more than his actual feet are. So this is gonna keep happening as we do this over and over again. And one thing you'll notice here is that I'm not really, um, in this case, you're not seeing where I'm looking, but I'm not looking as much at this drawing anymore. I'm looking at one of the things that I'm fixing is between this long drawing that I used to create this and creating a smaller version. And I'm making corrections based on what my brain sees, but I'm also making corrections looking back at this image. So what are some things I needed to correct? Obviously my feet were a little wrong this time, but your hands, um, I'm moving my elbows and lining them up a little bit more so that they match they match our guy here. Uh, and it looks like his his hands are more in the position that they need to be. I've foreshortened that arm a little bit because again, um, it's not quite as short here, but you can see that his forearm, where I've marked it with, my line hopefully you guys can see that i know it's a little dark but it's much shorter than the top half of the arm so now i'm, I'm looking at this being much longer and this being much shorter 